Cook Children's Medical Center in Fort Worth says the surge in flu and RSV cases has put its facilities in emergency mode. Yesterday alone, more than 700 children were seen in its emergency room and urgent care. Fox 4's Alex Boyer joins us with how the volume of visits is being handled. Alex. Hi, Clarice, and the situation has gotten so dire that the emergency department has issued what it calls an internal disaster code. That means doctors and nurses are coming in on their days off. The sheer volume of kids that we are seeing is just unprecedented. Cook Children's is seeing a critical volume of patients at its emergency department and urgent care centers. It's a constant flow of patients into our emergency room. Uh, we're seeing about a, a patient every two minutes is what they're checking in as right now. Dr. Daniel Guzman says nearly all of the pediatric patients are presenting with upper respiratory related infections. This week alone, Guzman says they've treated more than 250 confirmed cases of RSV. RSV tests are in short supply, so Guzman expects that number to be even higher. ER doctors have also seen 170 cases of the flu and 27 cases of COVID. Which causes definitely a logistical challenge in being able to see that many patients uh, and move them through our system. That's prompted the Cook Children's Emergency Department to issue an internal disaster code, bringing in doctors and nurses on their days off. Staff from the ICU is assisting in the ER and patients with milder symptoms are being discharged sooner to free up bed space. We will take care of the sickest ones first. They will definitely get our priority. Guzman suggests kids with milder symptoms see their primary care pediatrician instead. If you have mild symptoms within the two or three day span, we're hoping to be able to have, have your child seen. If your child needs to go to the ER or urgent care, here's what doctors are going to need to know. Things like, are they uh, breathing really fast and hard? Uh, are they drinking okay? Are they not drinking? Are they urinating? These are kind of key things that we are looking for. Guzman says we have yet to reach peak flu season and they aren't sure if we've reached peak RSV season. So bottom line. Another thing that's critically important, please, please, please get an updated flu and a COVID vaccine. And Dr. Guzman says patients can expect to wait anywhere between eight and 10 hours at the emergency room, depending on the severity of their symptoms. Now I checked with the DFW Hospital Council and they say that RSV and flu, this is a problem that's presenting itself at hospitals region wide.